Hello everyone, this is Foxy Papa Smurf, for FPS Gamer for short, and today we're doing another map showcase, and this one is significant because it's the first map I created in Halo 5's new Forge system, which we all know is awesome. Uh, the Halo 5 mechanics work much, much differently than any other Halo before it, so when making a map now, you have to keep those kinds of things in mind. Players can run faster, jump further, get higher, and get to places that previously would be out of reach. And the inspiration behind this map came from a specific location in Halo 2's campaign. This is one of my favorite levels in all of Halo, and you really feel like you're immersed in this futuristic Earth city. And I wanted to replicate some of those aspects found in this level and tried to create a multiplayer map out of it. The map is symmetrical. There are a few scenic and geometric tweaks that are given to each side to kind of differentiate one side from the other. It takes place kind of in this uh, inner city area, in this industrial area of a city you could find in, you know, in the Halo universe. Each side is comprised of three levels. There's a lower level, that's your main access to each base. Then there's your secondary level, which has a few lookout areas, and it's where the players spawn and the objectives spawn. And that brings you up to the third level, where you can see straight across to the other side without any type of barrier between you. And it is possible to clear that gap through these little pedestals that I set up intentionally. Um, it's very, very tricky to try to cross the map without them. You can cross over to the enemy's base without the flag, but if you have the flag, you have to take a longer route to, to return back to your own base. The third level is a very strong position to hold because you can see the layout of the rest of the map from up there and you have very quick access to uh, the catwalks and the bridges if you have a teammate in danger or you spot an enemy with your objective. I intentionally made some of these entrances one way to make sure the players had to make a choice if they want to compromise their position to get into the enemy base then they can do that, but they won't be able to return back up to the more powerful area. The second floor is where all the players originally spawn. It has this exposed floor plan so that you can easily access the first floor, uh, but again, you can't return up to the second floor from the first floor. And with a map that's this narrow, you have to do everything you can to make sure those travel times are, are realistic. And then that brings us down to the first floor, which is a very, very important location as well because it has this bridge, which is fairly well guarded. You can get there quickly, and there isn't the same inherent risk involved with having to jump from one base to the other. Likewise, the power up on this map is also located on this bridge, so you can see that this is a very, very active area. Then there's these side catwalks that extend from the first floor of each base. They're a little bit longer, but also out of the way, so they don't see as much action. You can pretty much guarantee getting to the enemy base by taking one of these catwalks. Again, it does take a little bit longer. There's a little bit of a, a secret entrance that's not so much of a secret to get into the first floor of each base. And the first floor also houses this gravity lift that brings you all the way up to the third floor. And you can also use the same shaft to fall down from the third floor down back to the first. This location is called the Nest. This surprisingly throughout playtesting became a very, very uh, active area as well. I saw players defending this nest area. As with all of my maps, I like to add uh, trick jumps or skill jumps, uh, and that's something that is an integral part of the Halo 5 multiplayer scene. And that's really going back to the mechanics of Halo 5. You can boost, you can clamber, and I really tried to cater to those new Halo 5 mechanics by adding in a plethora of skill jumps that are risky, but can offer you a strategic positional advantage. So I try not to make these trick jumps super obvious for aesthetic reasons, but also to up the replay value of the map. You don't want a map to reveal all of its secrets the first time that you play it. You want to gradually discover new things that are that are in the map that you see more experienced players use and you want to, to utilize them. And as the as you play the map and as you get used to it, you'll discover new things and that, that makes the map fun time after time. Something that's never been a really big part of the map making process is lighting. And in Halo 5, it is a huge part of making a map. The developers really left it to the players to create that environment that can set a tone for the specific type of experience that you're going for. Thank you guys so much for taking a look at this map. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I know a lot of you guys are more recent subscribers, so I definitely appreciate your support. And I'll have something coming out in the near future to discuss the future of the channel and what my plans are for it. Thank you again for all your support, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Thank you.